Okay, guys, so we've been privy to watching episode one of All Stars 5. Now, I know that UK viewers have not seen uh, episode one yet, but uh, please bear in mind this video will contain spoilers. So watch at your own Discord, if that's the right word. I'm not sure that's the right word. Hey, guys, Lou and I here. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with my reactions this season. So I'm going to be reacting to All Stars 5, but I'm also going to be doing a review after every episode with my boss and drag queen extraordinaire, Aaron from Aaron Carty's Beyonce Experience. Uh, hi, Aaron. Hey, how you doing, Lewis? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. It's so weird, like, being having to do this on yeah. camera, considering we spend so much time together, well, normally, you know, in the office. So. Yeah, I know. It's... At least we're respecting social distancing, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, like 15 miles away in London. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Aaron, uh, tell people about you. Yeah, so uh, Beyonce Experience is actually five this year. Can you believe it? Five years old. Uh, we've had an amazing run so far. You know, we've literally traveled the world. We've done New York, LA, Vegas. Obviously, we've performed around the UK countless amount of times. Uh, Lewis, I do remember my first ever show at Troxy. Yes. Um, in January 2016, which you came along to. I did. Little did I know you were going to leave the business like <laughs> two months later, you little traitor. I did. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, you, you're back. You know, you've been back what, almost, almost a year now, isn't it? It's coming yeah, up. it's... it's... Yeah, almost a year. It's, time it's has literally be. flown by. So we've always, always done this. We have, yeah. but we've never done anything like this before. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And do you know what? And I think your reaction videos are so good. And Thanks. we all know that is exactly what you're like when you watch something anyway. So it was great yeah. that you did it on camera. But I thought, you know what? We should we should start reviewing this as well. You know, my experience as a drag queen. You know, a lot. Of, I know a lot of the um, the RuPaul girls as well as you do. Yeah. So I thought it'd be great to to be able to you know, discuss it, have a little bit more of an insight into it and get to it. Yeah, I completely agree. All right, so you know what? I've, I've got to start with the entrance looks. Okay, you know? let's and start. <laughs> it's so interesting watching the intro, uh, you know, the entrance looks because they all come from so many different seasons. I love mm. that so many girls are from season three. Yes. Um, you know, it, I think it's at a time where the show is very, very different to see them come back and have that same opportunity. Um, the one thing I found though is that you know, when girls used to come through the workroom and then be on the show, you could see that they'd have such a character arc and such a growth. Mm -hmm. You know, but now they come ready. You know, they come like they look like a million dollars the entire time. Yeah, completely. Like, and I think I said in my reaction, actually, that like the queens from the past seasons, like going back all the way to the beginning, they, they're coming with like vengeance. They've got a goal. They've got a mission. But also they need to prove themselves a lot more than the newer queens, let's say, because they've got a reputation to uphold as well. Yeah. They really do. I mean, when I, I've got to laugh though, I must. When I saw Alexis Mateo walk through the workroom, honestly, I thought to myself, that's the same thing you wore in like the finale. I'm sure it was. That bitch <laughs> has not changed anything. I anything. I actually mis mistook uh, Alexis Mateo for Angina, and I felt so <laughs> I bad. I felt so bad about it after. And people have actually commented and been like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you you made that mistake." And I genuinely <laughs> hold my hands up. It was an honest mistake. You know what Although, I mean? Although saying that, when I and Angina walked through of what she was wearing, you couldn't tell who that was. You know, uh -huh. that could have been a storm. That could have been a stormtrooper. Yeah, you know, that could have been anyone. Hundred <laughs> percent. It was so over the top. Um, but you know, who we. Who were you most? Uh, who were you most shocked by when they walked through? Well, I wouldn't say so much shocked, but like the person who stood out for me the most was India Farah. Like she came in with, with like a performance art to her entrance. She had like <laughs> she was covering herself and she, and then she revealed herself, and I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. She just stood out for me more than everyone else. Like, there's no one you know that what? really. Yeah, that's in that's interesting. You know, India Farah for me. She, again, she's another one. I walked through and I was like, bitch, you haven't changed. That makeup is the same face you were doing in season three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I was so happy when Juju B came in. Do you know what? Juju B can say anything and I'll just I'll just crack up laughing. Yeah. I just love her. I, I loved Juju B's entrance. She looked like she was coming straight out of Devil Wears Prada. She was <laughs> yeah. just like, I'm like a 
businesswoman couture, but like fierce. Like it was just epic. Like I, I love Juju B so much. Yeah. What was her line? I'm dressed for all of your funerals. Yes, <laughs> yeah. bitch. Come on. She is coming. And then she, she did the, uh, the printer uh, remark about like the ink. She was like, we're all the colors <laughs> of the printer. And then we run out by the time we get to Miss Cracker. That made me laugh. That was yeah. fun. That was fun. That's, hila that's hilarious. Blair Sinclair. Uh, she is grown, uh -huh. but she is... Oh, I was like, wow, that is a that is a grown woman. Bless and Claire for me is a complete glow up. Like it's been about what three years since her season, and she's grown yeah, in her years. drag as a person. She came in, and I was like, she was almost unrecognizable. She was. She was a woman. However, when they switched to her confessional, I was like, that's still a little twink, you know. That's still yeah. that cute little boy. Bless her. Bless her. <laughs> I actually thought the same. I actually thought the same about Miss Cracker as well. I was like. Damn, that is some cute, that's some cute confessionals we're going to be watching. Oh yeah, I've always had a little bit of a crush on Miss Cracker. <laughs> like, Do you know what? I haven't. I, I definitely haven't, but in that confessional, I was like, mm, okay. Yeah. Let me, uh, let, let me Google that. So, uh, I mean, the gag of the season is how they're doing it this year. I mean, I can't believe that, you know, the, you know, the, the top queen is going to have to choose who she wants to leave. But at the same time, the, uh, the whole uh, lip sync assassin is just such an incredible mix. I completely love that twist. It brings something fresh and something new to the show as well. You know, why we're on that, let's just talk about the fact that they had Evie Oddly as like the first lip sync assassin. I mean, come on, you, no one's gonna win. No one's gonna, no one as soon gonna as, win. As soon as she was revealed, I was like, there is no way that anyone's gonna beat her. No, no way. No way. No way. She should just be the assassin every week, you know. <laughs> I think she should, you know. I really think that, she should. $10,000 just... is going to roll over and roll over and roll over. Yeah. <laughs> who, who would you like to see, like, be a lip sync assassin? Do you know what? I want to play devil's advocate there. As soon as I knew that they were doing that, I was like, okay, Shea Coulee. Hmm, who could she go against? Where's she, where's she, where could she get some redemption? Hmm. I think they should bring back <laughs> Sasha Valor. Exactly. I was like, bring back <laughs> Sasha Valor. Put me, you know, but have her on standby, right? And if Shay makes it to the top, make her lip sync against her because isn't that what we all want to see? Yeah, that would be epic. <laughs> it would be epic. You know, I think this season, I think it's great that all the girls are going to get to vote this, yeah. this season. I think what a great way of, you know, mixing it up. I think that's something they should have in, in every season, you know, give the girls a voice. Um, and you know yeah. that's gonna stir up some tea and some shade For in sure. the workroom. You you saw with like Mayhem when she was talking to India and she they made this like pact, like if I'm ever in this situation, you'll help me out. But that could backfire because it might not happen like that. You know, those pacts are never gonna work. Then you start gonna... trying to make allegiances, it's just, it's just not going to work out, and there's going to be some daggers are going to be thrown. Hundred <laughs> percent. You don't trust anyone. It's not RuPaul's best friend race, you know. Hey, come on, that line still reads true. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it'll be good to see how that works out, you know, because these allegiances never work. So let's see, let's see how that pans out. Yeah. Um, so let's let's go into the main challenge then. I think you know it was quite. I liked how they went straight into the main challenge this season. Yes, uh, me too. Know, at the start, just get into it straight away. Get those girls on the stage and let them do their uh, their talents. But mm -hmm. wow, were those talents varied? <laughs> let's just say some of them weren't so great. <laughs> okay, yeah. So go on. What was which, what was your best and what was your worst? Mariah's was the best for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, ha it had such a great message. To I was it just as well. captivated, but I mean, I didn't get it at first when she started, and then as soon as I was, I, I mean, you didn't see the full reaction that I did because I obviously had to edit it. But I was just sat there the whole time, mouth open, like, like it, it was just captivating. She was, she was yeah. captivating, and it was an incredible performance. And it's so relevant now. You got to remember, this is something they filmed a year ago, and it's so relevant. And it's so relevant now, so that's amazing. And what about your worst? Come on, I mean, spill it. Spill it. It has, it has, I, I, it has to be Derek but Barry. Like I, I know. It's really? So, yeah. Oh, it's, I don't know. Why? Well, Why? Yeah. I, there's just this thing. Like I feel with Derek, it's like, like she keeps trying and trying and trying, but you just can't get Britney away. She should have just done something Britney, and I'm pretty sure she would have been safe. 
I mean, come on, I know more than anyone. I only do Beyonce experience, you know, as a drag queen. And I get it all the time. People are like, are you going to do something else? I'm like, well, I only do, I already do Beyonce. What more do you want? Yeah. And I, yeah. I really think Derek should just stick to that line. Like, he does such an incredible Britney. Such you know, a good done, Britney. He's done Vegas, for God's sake, as Britney. Like, you're yeah. not going to get any better than that. So do what you do well. I did agree with Michelle, though, that instead of doing trying to do so many other impersonations, just give us a bit of Derek. Yeah. Yeah, be real. Yeah. Like, be you. Be be Derek, you know? That would have yeah. that would have come across a lot better, I think, than, than it, it did. Yeah, definitely. I did love how a lot of the girls did something from their past seasons. But for me, yeah. I mean, it was probably my worst for uh, for Mayhem Miller. But actually, okay. when I started when I started hearing that, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that meme just came straight back. Same, like, same. Ah. It was like, oh God, like she incorporated. That's why I like, like she didn't do the best, but that's why I liked it because she she brought something that's made her quite well known besides being on Drag Race. Like that meme has gone everywhere. So she incorporated yeah. that into the performance. And I think that's what I liked so much about it. Whereas on, I think like on Gina, for example, just dance to RuPaul's Drag Race songs didn't really have much of a... No, it didn't. It. I mean, they even said it. She ran out of steam so quick. Coming down the runway, you know, in a in a car, doing yeah. two little makeup, you know, two, two little reveals. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to dance around for a little bit. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, it was... <laughs> those performances for me were just a bit flat. Do you know what I mean? Like... They could have yeah. given something a lot more. Who's not on the top of our lips? You know, who, who's being left behind already? Juju B. Uh, I mean, she did an amazing song. I didn't know that bitch could sing. No. Yeah, another string, another string to her bow. Everyone I had she was chills. Gonna come out and do comedy everywhere. Chills everywhere when she was singing. Like I, I didn't know that she could do that. Like that. It was just. Yeah. It was yeah. mind blowing to me because I know that there's a lot of queens that can sing. Um, and not just lip sync, but I was blown away by Jujubee's performance and the emotion that she brought to the performance as well. Oh, uh, it's it's so good to have the drag family back in the judges again. Yeah. Um, you know, having Michelle Ross and um, Carson there. Carson actually um, presented my show in New York. Oh, did, did he? That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which was amazing. That's Last amazing. minute thing, they're like, oh yeah, oh, Carson's going to come and present your show. I was like, uh, okay, okay. But, um, oh, yeah. And to have Ricky Martin. Oh, oh I mean, God. let's talk about Ricky Martin for a second. <laughs> when RuPaul yeah. was like pit crew and then Ricky Martin came out. I mean, come on. Didn't we all want to see Ricky Martin in his Speedos? Oh, totally. I mean, I remember <laughs> growing up. I used, I used to wish that Ricky Martin was gay. And my wish came true. So. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thinking about those judges' comments, like, again, they... It, you know, it was, it's, it's always nice for them to come back, you know, for the All-Stars girls and start mm -hmm. talking about kind of how they've changed, how they've evolved, and I'm sure that will get there. Yeah. But for me, the, the one kind of feedback they gave about Angina, mm -hmm. you know, how, you know, Michelle was saying, you know, I can tell that you're obviously very nervous and it's showing through. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if that's what you're being given in, season, you know, in episode one, uh, she's got a lot of work to do. She's got a lot of work to do, but we have to, we have to admit it is episode one so you know she she might have time to grow and adapt or they'll kick that bitch out there or they'll no kick her out <laughs> come on there's 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 no messing around this is all stars like, yeah you have to come ready there's no growth oh, arc completely. in this story completely you know? we and we do um, we do have to recognize that like the judges the the resident judges do know these queens they were there for, yeah, I mean, for their you know, seasons. Michelle works for them. Yeah, yeah, she works for them as well. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, you know, for to have Mayhem and Derek in the bottom two, were you expecting that? I think it was a toss up between Mayhem and on Angina, but I knew Derek would definitely be there for sure. Oh, see, I didn't. I Did you not? Be, no, I was going for Mayhem and Angina. Really? Yeah, I don't think. I mean, come on. Okay, Derek, he took a risk, you know, and yeah. he's an impersonator. You know, so he went and did 15 impersonations. Well, he said 15 impersonations in 60 seconds. There wasn't 15 people in there. It was wasn't. There was like five. Count, but, uh, okay, so on, you know, onto the lip sync assassin. Yes. You know, that screen took forever to come up. I was like, who the it fuck did. is that? They had to build tension <laughs> though. Like, it, I, I was just like, I want to see who it is. But it was good because they kept us waiting and then they revealed and it was like, it didn't let me down. Do you know what I mean? It, 
It really didn't. I mean, you know, Evie came, she came to slay. You know, she's giving you big reveals straight away. Uh, she is still the bendy magician. Like. As soon as she started contortalizing, is that the word? Like, yeah, we'll, as soon as we'll she started it. doing that, I was like, no, there's no way. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She's just, oh, she's just one of a kind. She really is. That was such yeah. a great first lip sync assassin to have. Sorry, I had to uh, uh, reconnect my uh, headphones because the other ones died, so... Uh, uh, <laughs> Continuity <funny>. error! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I haven't ch had to change a wig yet or anything. Yes, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. Um, okay, so let's talk about who did the right person go? In my opinion, yes. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I disagree, but go on. Out of Mayhem and Derek, I just think Mayhem's got a lot more to give. Come on, she turned up, you know, episode one in a $20 costume yeah. from like um, Amazon. Did you see that? She posted that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. But like, maybe it's just personal preference. I think I just, I like, I like Mayhem more than I did Derek. So maybe it's just mm. personal preference for me. Yeah, I know. Well, it'll be interesting to see next week to see uh, what Queen sent who home. Cause you know, that's gonna, you know, that's gonna come up oh, yeah. and cause some friction. You know, but I, th I felt, you know, I feel sorry for Derek because I feel he had definitely something to prove, you know, in terms of being himself. And I, I, I really wanted to yeah. see more with him and uh, India Ferrer. I was like, this is, oh. come on, we need some, you know, we need some real kind of feud of the season. We've not had a good feud for years. No, so. we haven't. I genuinely wanted some popcorn, which I have now. Um, <laughs> I wanted some popcorn for their little spat they had in the workroom because I was just like, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to just watch this. This yeah. is brilliant. Like, this, this is, is the drama we need, you know? This is, yeah, absolutely. We have not had that since Coco Montrese. Uh, walked into the room with Alyssa Edward <laughs> in what season five? So come yeah. on, we need we need some more. We need some drama. Come I on, know. And in that respect, that's I kind of wanted Derek to stay because of that because I knew there'd be drama between them and friction. Yeah, don't worry. I think there's going to be enough drama in this season. Well, like, let's hope so. Seriously. So so overall, are you excited about this season? Do you know what? I generally wasn't that excited about. Uh, All Stars 5 coming up, you know, we've just had season 12, we've just mm -hmm. had Drag Race UK. I was a little bit burnt out, but after watching that episode, I was invigorated again. I was like, I'm ready yeah. for this season. I feel the same. I mean, I took a, I took like a season off for my reaction videos because I just felt there was just too much happening, you know? Yeah, too much. There is too much Drag Race. I do feel it's yeah. getting a little bit oversaturated, but I think this All Stars has come at the right time. So oh, completely. we've got a lot to look forward to. It's reignited that fire in me, you know, like I watching it. I was just like, yeah, I've not felt that since for an all star season since all stars two, actually. Who is your who's your favorite so far to win? Uh, do you know what? This might be a bit controversial, but. <laughs> based based <laughs> off of this episode alone, I'm rooting for India. Really? India? You want India? Yeah. Oh man, we are going to fall the, out this season. The I can thing see, is, Miss Cracker and Shay are two of my favourite queens, but they yeah. just didn't, for me, like I, when I look back at this episode, I'm not like, oh, they had like a standout moment. Like, yeah, Shay's performance was a bit like, oh, I was slightly turned on by it. It was quite sexy. Yeah, you were. You were. I you was. was going for it. Um, but they didn't give me the wow factor that I was expecting from those two. Whereas India, it seemed like if this was like a centric episode, it felt like it was an India episode for me. Sure. And I guess also we haven't seen India for so long. So exactly. there's something there, you know, but um, I don't know. For me, I really want, I really want uh, Jujubee to win. Jujubee has been my favorite ever since season two. And she's really not been massively on the scene, you know, especially for yeah. us in the UK. So oh, completely. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing more of her anyway. So she is my, she's my favorite to win. It, it, it would be a great redemption for her. Cause didn't it, she do All Stars 1 as well? She did bless, you know, yeah. come on, we don't, we don't count that. Come on, we no. don't count season one. <laughs> they didn't have a great time in All Stars 1, really, did they? They didn't, they really <laughs> didn't. So yeah, just, yeah, she, she's come back with a vengeance and she'll, she'll prove so much. Who do I think is gonna win? I think Shay's got it this season. I think, I just think she was so close on her season mm -hmm. against Sasha Fallor. 
and she has grown so much. You've only got to see yeah. how much of an artist she is now. It's it's incredible. Oh, completely. But I, you know what? I honestly think that her losing in season nine was probably a good thing because it's made her stronger. Definitely. And you and can she, see that as well. Yeah, there's so, so much more there. So exciting. It's very exciting. All right, well, uh, look, let's, uh, before we start a fight over who we think is going to win or lose, <laughs> um, we're going to go. It's Sunday night. We need to sort some this shit out. Yes, but, uh, we do. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get ready for season, uh, episode two. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, so that was mine and Aaron's review of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 5, episode one. We're going to be doing this every week, so make sure to subscribe and also comment below on your thoughts, your opinions, and whether you agree with us, disagree with us. Uh, we'll try and comment back to you guys, um, and let's get a conversation started. And guys, remember, you can follow us both on social media. All the details are below. We will see you next week. Bye.